Brothers and sisters, please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today is the first Saturday of the month of September, and we offer this Eucharist in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us also acknowledge that we are sinners in need of God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, on the subject of fraternal charity, you have no need for anyone to write you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love one another. Indeed, you do this for all brothers throughout Macedonia. Nevertheless, we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a tranquil life, to mind your own affairs, to work with your own hands as we instructed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Let the sea and what fills it resound the world and those who dwells in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountain shout with them for joy. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to rule the earth with justice. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his, disi his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I know you were a demanding person harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent on the ground. Here, it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I did not plant, and gather where I did not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, 
and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A, rain, a rainy morning to everyone, and I congratulate you for coming over in spite of the rain. And those who are following us uh, online, especially those who are in Metro Manila, please stay safe and dry. You have heard a, a, a familiar gospel, the parable of the talents. You have heard its usual interpretation that we are given talents and we are responsible for the talents given to us because at the end, we will be held accountable. So if you are given more talents, the more that you should be returning to the giver. And those who will use their talents accordingly will enjoy the master's reward. That is the common interpretation. It is right. But I would like to, uh, uh, this morning to offer you another possible interpretation of this familiar gospel. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, take note and remember that this parable is about the kingdom of God. Si Jesus, ang kanyang, ang buod ng kanyang pangaral, pangangaral ay tungkol sa kaharian ng Diyos. Katunayan, ang lahat ng kanyang ginawa, ang lahat ng kanyang ipinahayag ay para maipakilala ang kaharian ng Diyos. The kingdom of God, the proclamation of the kingdom of God is at the core of the mission of Jesus. What does it say about the kingdom? Let's go to the third slave. There, there are three slaves. Let's call them slave one, slave two, slave three. Let us go to the slave three. He was given one talent, and instead of using the talent, he buried it in the ground. And when the day of reckoning arrived, the third slave said to the master, I know you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant, and gathering where you did not scatter. It was a picture of a man who is not so righteous, may be corrupt. And surprisingly, the master did not deny the accusation of the slave. Hindi niya sinabing, ano yung pinagsasasabi mo? No? Siniraan mo pa ako? Ano yung pinagsasasabi mo? Hindi, hindi niya sinabi yun. Sabi niya, you wicked servant, no? You knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter. Alam mo naman pala eh. Alam mo naman pala, baluktot ang aking pamamaraan. Bakit hindi ka nakisakay? Tingnan mo yung dalawang unang uh, ano, um, alipin. Slave one and slave two. They did what I was doing and they earned more. Why did you not imitate them? Why did you not become like me? Now, what is the point of the parable? The kingdom of God is an invitation to, he, to its listeners not to conform to the ways of the world. Ang kaharian ng Diyos 
ay isang paanyaya sa atin na wag gawin ang isang bagay na mali kahit ito'y ginagawa ng marami. Hindi porke yung isa o yung dalawa, pangalawa, ay ginagawa at kumikita sa maling pamamaraan, gagawin na natin. Kumisan yan ang katwiran natin eh. Hmm, di lang naman ako nagnanakaw eh. Hindi lang naman ako nangungurakot eh. No? Yun nga boss ko eh. Yun pa nangunguna eh. Hindi porke ginagawa ng marami dapat nating tularan. Nabasa ko lamang po, hindi ko napanood. There was daw an episode in Showtime. It's Showtime. No? The noontime show. No, I've not seen it for quite some time. It's about Ann Curtis and Vice Ganda. Ann Curtis, I think she sang, and then it looks like uh, she is not, uh, Vice Ganda is not impressed. Sabi ni Ann Curtis, no? Maggumanda na naman ang boses ko eh. No? Tingnan mo nga, yung mga madlang people nagpapalakpakan. No? Ang sagot daw ni Vice Ganda ito, eh, yung boses mo, parang corruption sa Pilipinas. Hindi namin gusto na sanay na lang kami. A very good point. Hindi natin gusto na sanay na lamang tayo. Basahin niyo ang mga dyaryo. Manood kayo sa television ng balita. Anong makikita ninyo? Korupsyon. Kriminalidad. Nagugulat pa ba tayo? Or we are already taking it for granted? Naapektuhan pa ba tayo? O nasanay na tayo? Lahat naman yan magnanakaw eh. Lahat naman yan eh kriminal eh. Ganun na ba ang ating pananaw? Today, the gospel is challenging us to be different. To be different and not to conform to the ways of the world. If we are really saying that we belong to the kingdom of God, then our ways, our behavior, our values should not be conformists to the ways of the world. Otherwise, we are all hypocrites. Kung hindi na tayo naaantig, hindi na tayo nababahala sa mga kasamaang nangyayari sa atin at kung misan kasama pa tayo, hindi tayo nabibilang sa kaharian ng Diyos. The kingdom of God is an invitation to us to be nonconformists to the ways of the world. Amen. Please all stand. When we appear before the judgment seat of God, we will have to account for our use and misuse of the gifts entrusted to us. In prayer, we seek the help of our Creator as we answer, Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord, that the Church may always use the many different gifts of her members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord keep our lives, keep our lives burning, burning for, for you, you, O Lord. Lord. That government officials may respect 
God's plan by protecting and promoting the value of creation. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord, that all people may share in the earth's resources and that everyone may cooperate in bringing human and economic development to our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep, Keep our, our lives burning, burning for, for you, you Lord. O Lord. The doctors, nurses, and those in the healthcare profession may use their gifts to bring Christ's love and compassion to the poor, the lonely, the sick, and the imprisoned. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. That eternal rest be granted upon our deceased relatives and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Keep our lives burning for you, O Lord. In silence, let us pray for the safety of everyone. Let us pray for our fellow men who are suffering because of bad weather and also include the intentions being offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us to remain faithful in the small things of life so that we may be entrusted with greater ones when we come into your kingdom. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Blessed forever. Be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, Make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus 
of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please all stand. Let us pray. 
having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the exhibit on the personal memorabilia of Cardinal Sin is ongoing at your right side. There is a chapel there that is open for your viewing. Tomorrow, uh, September 3, the Mass at 10 a.m., the Mass at 10 in the morning, will be presided over by Bishop Ted Buhain. We are celebrating or uh, remembering the 50th death anniversary of Cardinal Rufino Santos. And uh, after the Mass, there will be blessing of tomb uh, underneath this uh, sanctuary at the creep, and the public, the public uh, will be allowed to uh, go to the crypt to pray for the souls of these archbishops. And after the blessing of the tomb, we will also open an exhibit also at the right side of the personal memorabilia of Cardinal Rufino Santos. If you are free, join us tomorrow morning. And also, I would like to greet uh, the religious, uh, the retired sisters in their convent. You know, they say that they are following us uh, online in our masses. Please pray for us, pray for me and Father Biel, and uh, pray for the community of the Manila Cathedral. Salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.